or introduction to her family channel. You have to take them apart, don't you? Yeah, when you get this now, they have to assemble this for you. Hope you're having a beautiful Monday. Hope you're having a blessed time. Safe. My dear, my dear, I try to keep you safe. I look like we have a soon start. Good Mama and Dad aren't here. They went in St. Mary. And you guys in just a little. Um, I may have sweet potatoes. I'm going to make a little sweet potatoes. So, uh, so until we see you again on this camera, it's going to be... Hi guys! So, um, today, it's just me alone today for this video. Uh, what I'm really going to be showing you, based on the size, as you can see, we got an air fryer, right? And, um, in my mom's live on her cooking channel, which she did yesterday, I kind of talked not really a lot about it, but like a little bit about it, but if anything, I can do some more explaining in this video. So, this is what it looks like, right? It is a six-quart air fryer, and the brand is called Instant Vortex. I have the brochure here. It's over there. I'll go and get it for the next part. But um, it is a six-quart air fryer, and it's a four-in-one air fryer. So, it air fries, it roasts, it bakes, and it also reheats. So, um, I think this is a really good buy, and for six quarts, it's way bigger than we expected because looking at it online, it looked smaller, but we took a chance with it still. And you know, it just it surprised us really. It's very heavy. Um, surprised I can't even lift it up, but it is very heavy for let's say six quarts, and it's also really big. So, and plus, we haven't really found a space to put it on any countertop as yet or anything like that. So what I'm going to be showing you guys, I'm just going to like just a little demonstration, you know, how we use it. I've never used it before. I didn't test it out before. This is the first time I'm going to test it out. So I'm going to read the brochure as I go along and then I'm going to kind of explain to you guys that little, the different little parts it has, which really isn't a lot, but it does have a few little, you know, um, parts on it that we kind of have to go through to see and understand how to use it. So I'm going to in case anyone like wants to get this, this is what it looks like. Also, I think this is a really good buy. If a lot of you, if you think that um, if you want to invest in an air fryer, I would say take the chance and invest in it. Really, it might be a little bit pricey, but I would say invest in it because it, I think it saves time. And also, when it comes to gas, because we use like a cylinder, it also saves gas. I think it also saves it. So I think it would be a good, you know, a little addition if you want to say. All right, so I was going through the brochure a bit and they're telling you like how to clean it, how to clean the inside of it and stuff like that. I'm also going to show you um, how it's clean because I haven't cleaned it as yet. So this is inside of it. Apparently this is like the cooking chamber and this little part you can take out and you put it back in there. It has some little rubber parts at the side so it doesn't scratch the interior. So, and then that's really about it and then the inside i'm going to show you so show you guys the inside of it in a minute so um the brochure the brochure sorry it really just tells you how to clean it the different types of things you can cook in it for example wings wedges sweet potato fries whatever you really want that's kind of like quick and easy and stuff like that you can put in there and reheat big stuff uh, they also tell you not to put it on any other appliance or put it on any stove top stuff like that because it does give off a lot of heat um i have it on my table right now but i don't have it directly on the um the, the material on the table because that can attract heat as well so i put it on top of something and then it's on the table so that um the heat doesn't do anything to the table so it tells you how to set it up and all of that so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to clean it. So they said to clean it with warm soapy water with um, a little bit of dishwashing liquid or vinegar. So I'm going to do dishwashing liquid and vinegar because my mom always does that. So that is how we're going to clean it. I'm going to clean inside here and I'm also going to clean inside here with the same damp cloth. So I'm going to show you guys okay. how to do that. Alright guys, so now I put out the chamber and I have inside here empty. I'm going to show you. Alright, that's how 
in here though, so I can't lift it up very often because it's heavy. So in this container, I have some, can't carry some stuff because it's liquid. Some warm soapy water with a dishwashing liquid and some vinegar. And we're just going to clean out the whole interior. So now that I wiped out all up in there, like, you know, just the warm soapy water and the vinegar. Okay. I am going to now wash it out to get out that, you know, that little vinegar smell. I'm going to wash it out now, just regular. And so now wash it out, wipe it back out again. I'm going to come back and then we can start the yeah, vegetables. You know, it's all dried and everything. And I placed back everything inside. So I already stepped down. So first things first. I'm going to just plug it in now. Yes, I to plug in um, your air fryer and then you're going to set. You're going to go on air fry. And then you're going to set your um, temperature. They said 205 degrees Celsius, which is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So the time, my time for this would be about 12 minutes. So I'm going to put that about 15, because I think it are 14, because it needs to heat up. And then um, temperature, they said 400. So then I'm going to just press start and it's just preheating so once it's once it's finished preheating and it's hot enough it will tell me to add the food so then I would add the food in there and then it will just do what it's doing so let's see all right guys so it told me to add food so it is it's preheated I'm just going to do a little bit of french fries in there just to try it out. I'm not going to pull it all the way up. But just a few to see. It says for the French fries, I don't need to add any like from a oil nor nothing like that. Um for other things like if you're doing that maybe chicken or something like that, a little oil would be necessary. Um maybe on the bottom or so, but for this it says I don't really need any. And from watching other videos, I don't necessarily need any. So that's, I don't want to do too much. So this is the amount we're going to do, right? We're going to pop it back inside. And we're going to wait until it's done. So now it's at about 14 minutes. I put it on an extra two minutes just in case. Um, you know, I want to add this a bit on the, you know, like a little brown aside, not burnt, but like a little brown aside. So, I did it for 14 minutes. So, once it's finished, I'm going to come back and show you guys how well it works. Okay. So, we have 14 minutes. Time over here, and that's our temperature. And it's on air fry, and the time, and if you want to cancel it, you can just press cancel right there. Just adjust anything if you want. So, that's how it goes. So, once it's finished, I'll come okay. back. Um, I don't think you should, unless you want it like not too, too, you know, like so, so. It's not that brown either, but if you want it maybe browner than this, you can put it on longer. But the direction said 12, I put it on 14. And this is what came out at 14 minutes. I'm going to just, you know, put it out on a little plate right here. Like that. Honestly, oops, there you go. This is it. And now you just add your salt and everything, right? There's there's no grease, nothing. You don't need to add the oil. For the fries, don't need to add the oil. It's not necessary. Um a lot of persons I didn't see them any add any oil when it comes to like fries or anything like that, so you don't need to add any oil for this. Um Yeah. They're a bit hot, but they're done and they're good. It doesn't taste any different. It's perfectly fine. So I think this is really good. For just a test run. Um, it does get hot. So make sure you don't have it around any other appliance. And make sure you have it on a surface that is, you know, it's hard enough and it won't cause any electrical damage or, you know, burning or anything like that. 
because it does give off a lot of heat so i'm just going to let it cool down now once it's cooled i'm going to wipe it back out and everything and just you know leave the chamber part right there so to just drain off and wipe it back in out and just put it back and wipe in the inside and just put it back inside and that's about it so hope you guys enjoyed this video of me testing out um our air fryer it's actually a really really good investment even though i just tried fries on it but it's actually really good next time we'll probably do maybe like wings or something of the sort reheat something next time or you know whatever so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in another video make sure to like and subscribe and thank you guys for all the support as usual and i'll see you guys next time bye